Hello everyone and welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole Travel. Although lately there hasn't been that much travel. Last month we sold our house and bought a new home. And since then, life for me has been all about purging and packing and preparing for the big move. According to a poll on my YouTube community page, my viewers wanted to hear all about it. So I am going to take a brief hiatus from my adventure videos in order to document in a two part series our travels to our new home. It's a stretch, I know, just, just cue the intro. So we've lived in this home for 12 years. We moved here in 2007 and it was not our dream home, but we saw a lot of potential in it. Since we moved in, we've done a whole bunch of renovations like new hardwood floor upstairs, new carpet downstairs, new paint, uh, new kitchen cabinets and a wraparound pantry. New fridge, new stove, new dishwasher, new fridge downstairs, um, new lighting fixtures, new electrical switch plates. Um, my husband's built two fireplaces, two electric fireplaces, but he's done all the masonry and the woodwork and the stonework. Uh, we've done hardyboard on the outside, exterior, in place of the siding, we've done new shingles, we've built a fence. Like it's been 12 years of pretty much constant renovations and changes and upgrades to make this home functional and beautiful and closer to what we pictured as our dream house. We were so excited to become first time homeowners in 2007. The house was dated with lots of yellow oak throughout, old carpets, mismatched paint and more yellow oak. We loved the unique British pub style room in the basement and the extra large deck and knew with a little TLC the house would be great. Take note of these pictures now and you'll notice that almost every aspect of the house, exterior, interior and landscaping has all changed drastically. We began a long series of renovations like peeling away the gross rug and underlay, finding questionable stains and weird dirt piles. One fun surprise was this gorgeous layer of beautiful linoleum in the kitchen. My husband became an expert in retiling and doing new tile on our landing and a complete bathroom reno while I was eight months pregnant. He did a fantastic job and slowly but surely we began to shape the house into the way we wanted it. Of course, new furniture and styles always change the way things look. For example, let's not forget my red room phase, not inspired by the book Fifty Shades of Grey, thank you very much. I came to my senses eventually and we switched it to a more calming grey. In 2015, a hailstorm decimated the exterior of our home and both vehicles. But this gave us an opportunity to give the outside of the house a total facelift. The place looked condemned for a while while we applied for permits to add a fence and a front portico, but it was all worth it. We loved our pretty green house in the end. These photos taken by the real estate agency depict what our house looked like just last month, the finished product of 12 years of hard work and love. I'm making this video as much for my children as my viewers. I know their memories of this home will fade as they grow, and so this video will serve as a time capsule to help them remember.
After all of the energy and investment we put into the place, I would have been happy to stay for another 10 years. But my husband has this thing where he likes to go look at MLS listings and check out all of the nicer homes, uh, slightly bigger. We are a little bit cramped in this house now with two kids. Uh, we don't have a guest room, so my poor parents have to sleep on couches when they come to visit. Uh, we don't have a place to store the toys. I've never had a pantry here. My husband has to keep his clothes downstairs in the basement in a random closet. So we are growing out of this house for sure. And last time my husband was looking at the MLS listings, which was about a month ago, he saw one that I fell in love with. Normally when he looks at the MLS listings, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's nice, it's fine, whatever, but it's not worth leaving this house over. But that house was. So we called a realtor, uh, his name is Ruben, and we said, we just wanna look at it. We're not even sure that we wanna buy. We hope we're not wasting your time, but we would like to just go inside and check it out, which he was totally fine with. And by the time we'd finished walking through the house, we had fallen in love. It was everything that I've ever wanted in a home. It's my forever home. Uh, and so it took us about two weeks of debating back and forth, back and forth. Should we do it? Shouldn't we? Is it, is it a bad time to buy? Is it a bad time to sell? Is it out of our price range? Are we going to be able to afford the mortgage? Are we going to be house broke after this? Oh, it was a big decision. And in the end, we were like, well, let's put our house on the market and see what happens. There was about 120 houses in our town for sale at the time. Some of them had been sitting there for well over a year. So we thought, you know what, if, if nothing happens and we don't sell our home and then the house that we've been looking at, it goes, then it's a sign that we weren't meant to have the house, but let's just test it out. So my dad came up, cause he is a carpenter, a woodworker and just a general genius in those regards. And he helped us to fix any broken baseboards, add any trim that we were missing. I installed new kitchen backsplash by myself. Um, my husband, he's done a lot of woodworking as well. He put up some wainscoting. We painted, we repainted the entire bathroom. And in fact, we repainted the bathroom at 11 p.m. the night before the realtor's showing on our home. So like cutting it down to the last minute. And Thursday morning, our real estate agent held the realtor showing. So all of the different realtors from different agencies around town came to look at our house. And one of them had somebody in mind that might want to look at our house. So by Thursday afternoon, we already had our first showing. And by Thursday evening, we had our offer. It took one day on the market and one showing and we basically signed up to sell our house. So for me, life has been a whirlwind of quick home renovations, of collecting boxes. I've been literally dumpster diving for boxes, packing all of the non-essential items. I've also been purging our house of items that we no longer use or need or can't fit into. And last weekend, I had a really big garage sale that lasted for two days. So life has just been insane. It's been so crazy and sadly, I haven't had time to do any traveling or any road trips with the kids and YouTube has been kind of one of the last things on my mind. We've done so much to this house to make it beautiful and our own and very much us and now we have to say goodbye. Luckily, none of the parties involved in our home transaction were in a hurry to move and I had a month to pack up. We would be taking possession of our new home on July 17th with two days to move out before losing possession of our current home on July 19th. So to try and stay organized during this move, I bought myself a little notebook and I have been color coding all of my boxes with different colored sticky notes. And then in my book, I've also been numbering the boxes and writing down exactly what is in each box so that hopefully it'll be a little more organized and easier to unload once we get to the new house. Oh man, there's so many boxes already and I'm only like a week into packing. There's more out in the garage as well. It's weird to see empty shelves and just a whole lot of emptiness. My house is getting bare. 
Well, tomorrow is officially moving day. This is our last full day in our house. I'm packing up what's left of my kitchen contents in the drawers and the food. And Joey's brother is coming tonight to help us start dismantling some of the bigger items like the elliptical and the pull-out bed and that sort of thing. It's crunch time, baby. Somebody's, somebody's <laughs> devastated that we're moving. Why are you crying, my love? <laughs> you what? I'm gonna miss the house. I'm gonna miss the house. After kissing the walls and saying goodbye, the kids bounced back quickly. This is it. The end of an era. Our house is empty. Goodbye house. Goodbye kitchen. One last empty walkthrough. There's our empty bathroom. Goodbye bathroom. And goodbye master bedroom. You were tiny but we loved you. Goodbye, Parker's room. And goodbye, Abby's room. You've torn up all the wallpaper, my child. Goodbye, room. Time to say farewell. It was sad to say goodbye to our home and a lot of work, but never fear. We are in love with our new house, which I'll introduce to you in my next video. Then it will hopefully be back to more travel vlogs and adventures. How do you feel about moving? Did you ever leave a house that you loved? Tell me about it in the comments below. As well, remember to like and share this video and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all things down the rabbit hole.